Okay, but some may get a like it. They brought her here for 2020. So when this patient was brought here into the world, I received the patient by me looking at the patient, you know she's in a bad condition. So when I checked the folder and I saw the and I'm investigate the patient, I saw her with a breast laceration. So when I asked the parent the history what happened, they now told me that she was kidnapped three weeks after the baby. They went to their village and take her and take her to, to their area. So they now told me that after they kidnapped her, so they now demand about 500,000. They now gave that the money. So the press at home, they saw it was swollen up. And later on, the press now break up because of that situation. And it was causing a harmful amount of cost within the area. And there is the skin within the, that covered the press has fallen already. I was at home when someone told me about the woman. This thing, that too. Then I rushed to the hospital to witness my witness it myself. I work with media. Then I come and interview her. She told me all that happened. I really sympathize with her. They don't have money. They don't have anything, and uh, she really needs uh, medical medical attention. And you know, medical uh, this thing now. If someone is in the hospital, you must put money. So when they brought her here, you now take her to the toilet, you bath her. Take proper care of the patient. Then we now do what we call the treatment. We remove all the dead tissues that are there. We dress, we used to dress the area every day, morning and evening. All her medication that the drug, doctor prescribed, we have been giving her. And at least she had about one pint of blood because she came with PCB, it was low. So we have to transfuse her with blood. And she's on antibiotic. We are treating her up till now with the drugs. And the dressing too was done every day. Didi dressing, that's what we have been doing up to money. Then she don't have money. I communicate Didi, that is Colonel Sani He really, I was, I was, in fact, the way he was committed, as if he, he, she is his blood daughter. He was so much disturbed. He keep on calling me, asking me about her, and told me that whatever, whatever amount, they should take her to the hospital, whatever he would take the responsibilities. And since then, he is the one doing everything for her. We did all, we did MP, all our investigation, we did MP, Mary, everything we did, it was all negative, but still they would treat her for some other, like we treat her for malaria and typhoid. So the breast that is using all that, uh, that ample amount of cost, we the dressing, the, any dead tissue we saw during the dressing, we will now remove it. That's how we have been doing. 
but she didn't have any other con condition or any complication except that laceration that she has on her breast. She was dehydrated because her skin was emaciated. If you see her that time, you will pity her. There is much, much improvement. There is much, much improvement because the breast now is looking good. Learn from the time they brought her, you can't even look at it once. Look at herself, now you can't look at her house. Now, from that you will benefit from a plastic surgery. Because the healing, if she so, will live right here for a long period of time. She will take a long time before the skin will not granulate and cover the area. She will take a longer time. That's why she will need that. She will benefit from that skin. Meaning that they will, they will take part of her skin. Is it with her tie? Then they will now place it within the area and will it. So they will continue managing her tear. Then it's so good. They will not decide. As the doctor said, she needs uh, skin drafting. And they are flying her to, to Kaduna. And you know what? She's not even going by road. She's going by air. To tell you how this man is. The plane is coming to pick her tomorrow. He's flying with her. You want to go and settle everything, settle with everything. He told the team of the doctors that you sh they should take care of her. No matter the amount, he's ready to, take the, he's ready to pay the bills. Uh, I'm standing with him there to this man. A lady that was abducted by bandits. She has some health challenge. Uh, Aisha Tumasheri has been handling the issue. She contacted our chairman, Colonel Sanibello, retired, and he has been handling it. Now, the Sanibello Foundation wants to take over from here. We discovered this situation, we need some skin action. Our doctors have seen her and they have recommended that she be brought to Kaduna for further treatment. Just follow us as we carry on with this case. After the treatment, we'll be back to you. Thank you.